What's up guys? My name is Lauren and welcome back to my channel where we talk about money and mindset as well as my family's own journey to pay off six figure debt. So if you like videos like that, then make sure you hit that red subscribe button to follow along with our journey. Today we are talking debt payoff. It is our February 2022 debt payoff update and this month was a decent month debt payoff wise. So as always, we're gonna jump right in and look at all the numbers and all the detailed breakdown of how much debt we have, which is a lot. If you haven't watched my channel before, it's a lot. You might be shocked by how much we have and it's just student loans at this point. But before I do, I just wanted to check in with you guys because there's just a lot of stuff going on in the world right now with what's going on in Ukraine and you know, when I do these debt payoff updates, a lot of times I'm trying to be positive, but I'm really emotional about the amount of debt we have because I feel like it's hindering our quality of life in a way. And that's why we want to get it paid off. And I have just like different negative feelings that I have to fight off constantly about this debt and regret and shame and all that stuff. And everything that's just going on in the world, it just makes you take a step back and reflect on your life and really be grateful for all the good things you have. And I do try to do that anyway I do a gratitude journal that I try to write in every night and write down five things that I'm grateful for and I found that has really helped me deal with any like negative emotions that I'm having it really just like puts things in perspective and so now more than ever I just feel like so grateful for my life and the fact that we live in a comfortable home in a safe neighborhood and that I know where my next meal is coming from and I know my daughter is safe and I know I'll be able to get to the doctor for my next maternity appointment and just everything that we kind of take for granted in our day to day life. So I just wanted to check in and like just mention that before I get into the video because I am just feeling grateful right now even though we have a lot of debt and we're you know behind which I hate that kind of phrase but we're behind where I thought I'd be in life at this point it really like it doesn't matter because all we have is like moments today and living for this moment and the joy you can find in the day so just wanted to mention that before I get into the update because I know it can feel really overwhelming with everything going on and scary and like it's just been a hard couple years with COVID and everything so just want to start off this video with that perspective so I always start off my monthly updates talking about the goals that we set last month so I keep myself accountable to you guys. And so let's take a look at the goals we set for last month for our debt payoff. All right, so February debt goals, we wanted to pay $2,762 to debt and we did meet that and actually exceed that by $150. So I think that's great. We're able to pay above and beyond what we had planned to pay towards debt. And again, I need to really take a step back here and remember that this is almost $3,000 that we put towards debt this month, which is a huge amount of money and we also have a huge amount of that going towards principal which wasn't the case for many many years so that's a huge accomplishment and then the second goal was don't get discouraged and I feel like again as I stated at the beginning of the video like just having perspective on the situation it just like when big things happen in the world it really makes you take a step back and appreciate the things you have so I was feeling discouraged with our debt payoff the first half of the month and then we were able to pay a little more than I expected towards debt and then I just got some perspective like a reality check with perspective on life and I'm not feeling discouraged right now I'm feeling just like hopeful and just motivated to just keep trucking along month after month and keep this process going because it's just it's a long-term process and I can't expect it to change overnight all right so let's jump into my favorite part of these videos and that is my debt payoff spreadsheet if you like this spreadsheet you can get it for yourself for your own debt payoff it is an instant download to Google Sheets and I sell it in my Etsy shop and it comes with a detailed video tutorial so if you're not super comfortable with spreadsheets don't worry it goes through all the details of exactly how to set it up and use it all right so this is my debt payoff tracking spreadsheet we are on year three of our debt-free journey. So starting out at the beginning of year one, we had $392,411 of debt, and that is not including our mortgage. So it was several credit cards, car loan, undergraduate student loans, a home equity line of credit, a credit card consolidation loan, and then two massive student loans. So um, my husband went to grad school, he got his master's in business, and I went to law school. And so those are those massive student loans. So starting out at the beginning of February, you can see we had paid off 
all of the other debts besides the two giant student loans. So my husband's student loan was at $84,524 and mine was at $184,142 for a total debt of $268,666. And then during the month of February, what we did is we paid $2,912 towards debt. Of that, $2,292 went towards principal and then $620 went towards interest. So slowly the interest is getting lower and lower. How much interest did we pay year one, month one per month? We were paying $1,900 a month towards interest before, and now we're down to 620. So that is major progress in like two years. Okay, so our new balance at the end of the month was $266,374, which was made up of my husband's student loan, which was at $83,890, and my student loan, which is at $182. 484. The payments we made during the month were just my husband's minimum payment of 830 and then we paid my minimum payment of $1,882 plus an extra $200 payment. So total debt paid off since the beginning of our debt-free journey is $126,037. So that's a huge number even though we have a huge amount left to pay the amount left to pay just keeps getting smaller and the total debt paid off keeps getting bigger. I mean, that's obviously the goal with debt payoff, but it's moving that direction in a big way. And so in just two short years, well, it's been a little over two years because we started January, 2020. So it's been 26 months that we've been paying off debt. And so yeah, 126,000 paid off, which puts us at 32% of our total debt paid off. So we are getting very close to a third of our debt paid off when we hit 33.3%. Right now we're at 32.1%. So 33.3%, we will have a third of our debt paid off and that's going to be a very exciting milestone to hit. That was one of my goals I had set for us for this year and um, we're getting very close. So yeah, I'm excited to hit that major milestone and celebrate that with you guys. I'm also excited to get our total debt under 250,000. That's like the next major milestone we are really gonna celebrate and maybe like treat ourselves to something that's gonna happen this year. I've set small goals along the way because obviously like when you're paying off almost $400,000 of debt over the course of like five, six plus years, you need to celebrate along the way or you're gonna get burnt out. So I set our next like goal for celebration at 250,000 because it just, it will be nice to be below a quarter million dollars for our total debt. So yeah, looking forward to that as well. All right, so let's take a look at our goals for March for debt payoff. So our goal for March is to pay $2,953 towards debt. That would be our regular minimum payments plus an extra payment of $241. And that's a very specific number and I get that number from our monthly budget. So if you didn't see our March monthly budget, I'll link it in the video description. But yeah, I basically set up our budget and put in all of our expenses and then whatever is left over in like the left to budget section of our budget. I put to our extra debt payments because that is our number one priority financially is to get our student loans paid off. So in that budget, we had budgeted $241. That was what was left available to spend in our budget for debt payments. So that's the goal for this month. And what else? Oh, my other goal. So I wanna try to find other ways to make a little bit of money, just like, I don't know, 50 or $100 a month, just like doing some little stuff. And one thing I really wanted to do more of is sell our stuff because we've been doing a lot of decluttering and cleaning out. I'm pregnant and we're having a baby in July. And so we've really been trying to get our house in order to be able to have like as much room as possible for baby stuff and know what stuff we have, know what stuff we need to get. And so anything that we found that would normally go in like the donate pile, I've just been putting aside and I made a deal with myself that anything I can sell before the baby's here, I will try to. And then once she's here, if I can't sell anything else, then I'll maybe just donate it or give myself more time to sell it if the selling of things is going well. But I have not been good about that the past two years. That's not been like top of my list because I've been focusing on other ways to reduce our expenses or increase our income besides selling things in our house. But at this point, I feel like it's something I could really make decent money at. So I'm gonna try to sell some things. I think I'm gonna go the Facebook marketplace route. The only problem is 
I don't really use Facebook. I have a Facebook that I deactivated like eight years ago and then I made one for business. So I need to like, I feel like an old millennial who's not good at tech right now, but I need to go on Facebook and figure out like, are people gonna be willing to buy from me if I like don't have friends or do I need to reactivate my old Facebook from long ago to even be able to sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace so people see that like I have connections and friends and stuff on there, whatever it's called, I don't even know anymore. Um, but yeah, so Facebook Marketplace, I'm gonna try that. Maybe Mercari too, but I like the idea of having to ship stuff a lot less than Facebook Marketplace, where I can say, this is the price, and if you want it, come pick it up from my front porch and leave the money under the doormat, and that's it. So yeah, that's my goal for March, is to sell something, <laughs> at least off Facebook Marketplace, and yeah, so I've really been like not wanting to do it because I'm such an introvert and I hate interacting with like strangers especially, but I'm telling you guys, so it keeps me accountable. So I actually go and do it. So if you guys have any tips or tricks for selling stuff online or through Facebook Marketplace, like comment below, let me know. Tell me your success stories. Don't tell me your like negative stories because I need encouragement. So yeah, that's my other goal for March for debt payoff. So that is it for this month's update. I hope you guys enjoyed the update. I hope you found this motivating for your own debt payoff journey. If you are working on paying off debt, I love hearing how you guys are doing in your own debt payoff. So comment below and let me know if you made any progress on your debt in the month of February. As a reminder, if you like the spreadsheet that I was using in the video, I have that along with a budgeting spreadsheet and an annual financial goals tracking spreadsheet, all of which I sell in my Etsy shop. You can get them individually or you can buy them in a bundle for a small discount. So I will link my Etsy shop below if you wanna check any of those out. If you like this video, as always, give it a big thumbs up because it really helps on my channel. And if you wanna see more videos like this from me, then hit that red subscribe button down there. I'd love to have you as a subscriber and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye.